Hello everyone. Today is Friday, 20th of September 2024, and we're gonna review the trades. We're gonna take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. First, let's have a look at the macro chart structure. And as you see, the market after yesterday bullish day had a pullback and the daily chart reached the previous level of high and resistance on Nasdaq and also on S&P 500, but in Dow Jones it passed. So we were expecting some pullback and profit taking and that happened and you see the price was fluctuating below the previous day close during the Asian and London session. So our plan of action is to wait for the price to reach this level or go further down and retest the previous level of high on all the minis. And when the buyers come back and we have a well-established uptrend, we will take long positions with setup B, C and T repeatedly. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated with any high property trade that we're going to take and report. So we're back and it's about 11.20 and as you see the price on the macro chart reached the area of the previous day high and the buyers came back now and we took some long positions with setup C. Now we're looking for every pullback to take long positions because the buying pressure is high and the price is going to go up. So the more the price break this level and go up it accelerates and the buyers become stronger so we are still in kind of uncertain area and we like to have a deeper pullback still we take one position so we don't miss any trades and then set other limit orders below that so we can have a better average so just waiting for the price to conclude and go either higher for quick scalp or retest the previous low level I just closed the positions because the buying pressure wasn't good and I saw sellers coming back now it's good to re-enter again with better price and just setting the targets on the middle of channel for smaller profits again waiting for another pullback if it doesn't give, I enter with manually. If it gives good pullback, I enter with limit orders. The buying pressure on NASDAQ and SP is getting strong. Now that the price broke strongly, we're waiting for some good pullback to take long position. I entered with the breakout on the NASDAQ because there was still room to go up and didn't want to miss this trade and let's see if the other orders get filled on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 we have one position filled on Dow Jones and one on Nasdaq two positions now filled on Nasdaq and we're gonna set the targets and I'm waiting for the buyers to come back and we reach the target now close okay one target field and another one on nasdaq and i close the dow jones also with a small profit manually so we are finished for the day and let's have a look at the stats and all the signals were copied by copy trader to multiple apex trader funding accounts and you see performance of one of these accounts which shows it was positive with profit factor of 6.72 which is coming from 68% win rate from the long positions taken and average win to loss ratio of 3.1 their largest winning trade was 260 and the largest losing trade was $54 so hope this trade taken by the PAM system for fast scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day and also weekend.